Hello all, my name is Adhur Rahman and in this video, we are going to focus a bit on styling and designing our website. So if you remember, in the last video, we have modified our templates, we have created our templates, okay, and then we have shown our tutorial content, tutorial content on our page, okay. So if I show you, I am going to run this first of all. So first of all, I am going to open my terminal. And then again, let's open this. Okay, so now I'm going to type here Python Python manage.py run server. When I'm entering this one and see me some time, let's open this one. So I'm opening this one and then I'm going to type here 127. Let's open this page 127. So as you can see here, we are getting the tutorial title, we are getting the tutorial published date, we are getting tutorial content. So we are getting the Python, we are getting uh, the programming languages in type of some, this box. Okay. So as you can see here, we are in the terminal, we are getting that, we are, it's showing me that we have opened this, this page and I have clicked on this one and something like that. So. Let's open the admin page. So what I've so what I've done is I have opened this hello tutorial and then I'm getting all of these things. Like I have from here I have modified this one and then I have written a code which will show this on our home page. Okay, so now I'm going to close this one. So in this video, we are going to design and style our website like I will show you here, Django project. So, if you see in this website, we have these nav bars, they have these buttons, they have these tables, and they have this, all of these things, right? So, I want all of this type in our website. So, their website, their website is different from our website because I'm going to use so we are posting your tutorials on our website but they are posting the documentation about Django and whatever it is okay so first of all I want all of these nav bars I want these buttons I want to show them in the a block I want to show the tutorial content in the box okay so first of all I'm going to close this one so for that I'm going to open this uh, I'm going to do that using the CSS framework. So we have like we have a web framework for Python, but there are CSS frameworks on this designing. So now so now I'm going to type here materialize CSS and then I'm getting this materialize CSS. After that I'm going to get this page after typing materialize CSS. So now I'm going to click on this first link which is materialize documentation. And then I am getting this what this page. So now it's showing a modern responsive front end and front end framework based on material design. So here on this page we have two options. Okay. So we can use their hosted version or we can download and copy copy and modify it like we can use their verse hosted version by getting started or we can download by upgrade from 0.100.2 something like this so to start let's just use their hosted version because if i use their that one it would take some time okay so that's why i'm going to use their hosted version okay so now let's click on this getting started get started so after opening this page we are saying something like pretty realize and we are getting download this says we are getting all of these things so we have firstly we have a block of what we say block of CSS and JavaScript code. Here it is our VS code. Let's close this one. So if you remember in the last video we were showing some error here. Like if I remove this one and go here like let's give here here it is. So 
So as you can see, yeah, I'm getting some type of under red underline. So I, in the last video, I was getting that error because I have given here this symbol here and here also. So actually, I have to give that here itself. Okay. So now we are not getting any errors. So uh, here in the last video. I have written the CSS code and then I have written the JavaScript code. Basically, I don't know JavaScript and CSS till I have seen it written. Okay, so anyhow, let's open this our browser and here we have this compile and minified CSS and here we have this compile and minified JavaScript. So now I'm going to copy this one and let's see how it's going to work. So for that I have closed this one and now where it is let's paste that here. So now I have this compiled and minified this one. Let's go here and then I'm going to move this script here something like this. Okay and now let's uh, okay so now I think I should reload our page and let's see what are the changes that we have got. So this is our website and then if I reload this page and as you can see here we are getting the so the difference is that we have the font size and the font type and the and it's not in the bold right so you will be asking like if I open 127 slash admin and you will be asking like in these tutorials if I go here and then we have this hello tutorial if I click on this one, okay, so you will be saying like you can change, you have changed the font style and font type from here and then you have changed the font sizes from here, right? Then, why, why, why are you changing from here? So we can do that, we can do that from our admin page and we can do that from our files and our VS code for this one okay so we can make other lot of stuff using this one so i have this font family i have this font size i have this i can change the text color also here so here i have not changed any text color it's getting because this is this is a program okay this is a programming language so that's why i'm getting something like this so if you are new to this website materialize CSS, if you if you don't know this, after opening, if you are following along with me, and then, and you want to design your website also, and then you need to see all of these things. Like if I click on the CSS, I'm getting this color, this grid, and you have to go through all of these things. And when I open the components, when I'm clicking on these buttons, these cards, collections, and let's set the nav bar created. Okay, so now I have opened all of these pages. Okay, so now for the color, we can change the color. Like, for example, where is this? Let's open Django. So, for the color, we can we have these buttons like get started with Django. If I so we can change the button color, we can do all of the stuff. So, now I am going to open our color this one. So, we can make the changes, we can make the color changes using this color one okay then this is the color only so we have this button types like i have this button so you want this type of button this type of button or you can make the floating button this flat button you have you can make any buttons you can use here by copying this block of code css or HTML code and then you can paste in the file in a correct place so now i'm going to close this one so now we have a cards are a convenient so we have this cards which means that like what i'm going to do is in the cards in this box in this color box i want to keep our tutorial content okay for example we have some this type of page so i'm going to give here a type of nav bar so like this is the nav bar so we have all of this all of this type of nav bars we can use but here i'm going to use this simple one so first of all, what I want to do is I want to keep here the nav bars, and then I want to keep here the tag, these cards, these, and all of these things. So we can choose the collections. We have all of these. Let's close this one. So if you are not new to this website, then you can do this. And one more thing, like for example, 
if I open YouTube, okay, I want to show you. If when I'm opening the YouTube in our Brave Browser and it's loading, it's taking some, it's showing me the here something like this, right? So, three, so it's, we have this one also. For example, when we are opening our website, if you open our website and there, I'm getting something like loading, we'll be getting, if you open some game or whatever it is, if you open any website, it will take some seconds for opening their website right so for opening that website it will take you need to load that page so for loading that you need to show this uh, this loading or this this one or you can choose this one this type of colors or you can see you can choose this one so we have all of this type of pre reloaders what we say pre reloader and we have these things so we can do all of the all of this stuff using the materialized css so now what i know is i know this website materializedcss.com so for designing our website so with this website we can copy the code and we can paste the code that we want to make for example we need to put the nav bars so i'm going to copy that block of code for the nav bars and then i'm going to paste that in the correct position so now let's go ahead and get started by applying that to our website start designing so as i said i am not as designed but i will try to do my best so first of all where is my this one so first of all what i want to do is i want to add the nav bar and all of those things but first of all i want to put that in these cards i want to put all of these in the cards like as i said in the components if i see here these cards and then when i am opening this one i want to put something like this okay so let's copy this block of code and then i am going to just copy this one and then i'm going to paste that here somewhere so now we have written this one and we have this end for k so now we have this breaks so for that what i'm going to do is i'm going to paste let's paste that below this one so let's paste that here something some area and then i'm going to copy this end for and then i'm, I'm going to paste that some area okay so for that one two three four we have already and then let's cut this one from this place Control x and then i'm going to paste that uh, in the end some area let's paste that Okay, so I have pasted this one and then I'm going to paste this one also for tutorial, for tut for tut in tutorials and this one also. So I'm going to paste, I'm going to cut this one first of all, cut on X and then I'm going to paste that below this one. Okay, and then I'm going to remove this whole one. Okay, let's make some here, some space and now. Mm, we have this our tutorial so now let's run this program and then let's see whether it's happening or not so now i'm going to close this one and then i'm going to open python manage.py run server okay when i'm running this i'm not getting any errors so now let's close this one then let's open this again 127 okay as you can see here i am very simple card i am getting good at containing small bits of information i am getting because I require title mark of views something like this so what where it is i am going to close this one so if you see here i am very simple card i am good at containing i am getting all of this tutorial content i am not getting my tutorial content instead there so for that i have to change this one right so for, for, for so whatever if we give here i will be getting that in our cards so we have this one call s s12 m6 we have card so we can change the card colors here we can change the card title okay so we have this card instead of this card title i'm going to remove this one and then i'm going to open here to flower braces let's close this one and then in this Please, I'm going to paste that tutorials hit dot ut or tutorial title. 
okay tutorial dot ut dot tutorial title and then here where is this one okay so instead of this place i have to put here the tutorial published and i have to put all of those things i'm going to remove this one and then i'm going to slash p and in this place i'm going to give here like dot dot okay tutorial published published and then let's remove this one instead of this one i'm going to p okay and in this place i'm going to make here again brackets and lower braces and in this one tutorial dot put tutorial title no tutorial content tutorial content something like this so we are giving all of these things so now let's run this program here it is let's reload this one but okay let's only thing uh, we are not still running that one Python manage.py run server and then let's open this one 127 as you can see here we are getting all of these things okay so we are getting span style so if you remember in the last video we were getting something like this on our plain page so it was getting but it is getting in the html what we say html type something like that so for that if you remember at that place we have used something known as slave safe so i am going to remove this one and paste that here in safe and now if i run this one again reload this page and as you can see here i am getting this one right so i am getting hello all welcome back here is how you can print the things this is the link let's click on this one we are not getting anything so because we have not done anything we have not given any link to this one so now i am going to open this one 127 slash admin and then i am going to add in the tutorial and then let's give like to p and then this one is required right so this is a question okay so now i'm going to save this one and then this one and reload this one and as you can see here i am getting uh, to be and something like this i'm getting to be this is a question i'm getting something like this so we can make the changes right so let's open the cards this one so we can put any type of cards we have this one so first of all we are using this one so i can use this card this this card also or I can use this type of card like where I can click on this one and I can use this plane I can use this horizontal card and then I can use this card also this type of card and I can use all of these cards in this one but the first what's the card panel we can give something like this also but the thing I want to do here is I want to give this basic card which is very basic so now we did this one so we have like div and then in this class where is that card do target so we can also add variable to our cards for example if i give you a space h o b t i d l e and then so now I'm going to make reload this one and let's reload this one. We are not getting anything. I'm going to cut this one and then I'm going to save. And when I'm opening this one, I'm going to run this program. I think as you can see here, the difference is that we are getting the line spacing right so now i am going to open the vs code and then let's paste this one and then i am going to open this one and reload this one i think we are not getting anything and now i am going to open this one and i think it has not been reloaded so now let's open this one 
and pythonmanage.py run server. So we are not getting any errors. So now let's reload this one. Okay, with this we can not we are not hoverable in anything hovering anything. So now I am going to give here I am going to close this one and then we have this p which is this tutorial content. So in the place of tutorial content tutorial published, I am going to give here like in this one. I am going to remove this one and then I am going to give here style style then style is equals to font size and then I am not this one font size -E. okay and then we have this font size and font for I am going to give that for the 70 percentage and then I am going to give you something like this it's good okay so i am getting like font size is equals to 70 percent i have to end that one here the quotation marks and now i am going to remove this one where is this one okay so published i am getting the space ICGD. published okay i am getting the space and then here i am going to save this one let's Published tutorial tot dot tutorial published. So now I'm going to run this program and then I'm reloading this. I think so. Now let's open this one. I think still running or not. What's the problem? Python manager py and server. And then I'm going to close this one. And then if I reload this page, so as you can see here, I'm getting this published July. I am getting the time, not find time, but I am getting the server time and it has been made too small, it's showing published July, I am getting that date and I have there because it's getting all of those things because here I have came here and then given font size is equals to 70% and then I have given the font size should be 70% and then before that I should get is published. So now if we see here on this page and we have, modi we have made our the cards. And now if I open this website, okay, so here we have getting this is a link, this is a link and we are getting these two things. So for that, what I want to do is I want to remove this one. So as you can see here, I have made some changes like I have done some tabs and I have done some tabs and indentation as you say. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove these links. So I don't want to be these links here. So for that I am going to remove this link first and then I am going to remove this card action. No, let's keep this one here only. So let's remove this one and then add our indentation here. Okay, so for that I am going to make this one some tab here. We are getting for this one, for this is this one and we should get here itself and for this one it's the one and we should have okay so i think we should go inside then okay so for this one we have this div for this div we have this one and for this one where is this one we have this one and for this one this one and this is not there, anything okay so anyhow i'm going to do this like this only so now uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to where is this one now let's run this program i'm going to reload this page so we are getting this is a link uh, so instead of this i want to remove this one i want to give something like is it yes i t e is it or okay Okay, I think I have spelled it wrong. Anyhow, so let's fix that later on. So we are getting visit something like this. So now, I think what I want to do here is now, I have to add the nav bars right now. Okay, from the time we were just modifying the cards, right? So now what I want to do is I want to do for the cards. So, not cards, I want to do for the nav bars. So I'm going to close this one and then 
in the components it's somewhere here okay so now this is the nav bar so now we have uh, all types of nav bars like we have this one this logo uh, we have all of these things but which one begins let's use the basic one we need no we are not making our the actual site so now i am going to copy this block of code Control c and then i am going to open this one and i have to paste that somewhere around this under this body again and i have and one more thing i have, I have done is before this one i should remove this one so what i have done the mistake is i have removed the body for some time sometime before slash body b o d y let's remove this one okay so now we have to i am going to paste the nav bar snap bar code below the body only okay so anyhow so for that let's me have some space and now i am going to paste this one here on this one okay i'm going to make this one i can do any errors so now we have this nav wrapper we have all of these things so instead of logo i don't want to be logo. i want to give this t or i t -O t or i a l s tutorials okay and then instead of this class let's read with there and then we have dot we have sas dot html so instead of this sas i want to keep here like home no not this one me home and then instead of sas dot html i wanna remove this one and give just slash and then i'm going to remove this one also so instead of this one i'm going to give here like slash register register and in case of components i'm going to give here a register and then in this one also let's give a slash load login and we have this uh, javascript i'm going to not till end till where it is okay i'm going to remove this one and give login not this one okay so now anyhow so we have done this one so now let's run this program and see i think it's still running so now we is our website let's reload this page and as you can see here we are getting home register login tutorials okay so we are getting all of these things and one more thing you want to see here okay so we are getting the tutorials let's see the other one okay anyhow and one more thing i am not able to understand is that why we are getting these symbols like that and smaller than so let's leave that and see that later on so now i have this head tag anyway okay so now I have pasted this block of code and now we have done with the nav bars. So we have this nav bars, we have this tutorials, but you will be saying like we have this no, this tutorials have different color and this nav bar have different colors. But I will be doing this later on, but it's not needed. So I have to do with the materialized. So there will be materialized uh, styling and other things. So I will be doing that for the later on so here i have with this in the vs code i have added the for the a code for the nav bars where we have login we have given we can give we can do all of the stuff we have home we have register we have login but basically i want to keep the not this one so basically i want to keep the law home register login here so for that i have to choose the other nav bar and i have to do all of the stuff but let's be let it let's keep this as it is okay and then otherwise we need to make the other otherwise we need to go there and copy the what we say the code for another nav bar and remove this one it will be wasting of time so now as you can see on the screen we have done with the nav bars and then we have been done with the cards but here we have one issue the issue is that we would like to have this page on every page not just that home page right but we have thousands of tutorials like each of which we will get their own page right and like imagine adding this every page you create 
like we have contact page, we have home page, we have register page, login page, we have tutorials page, we have about page, and we will be having a lot of other stuff. And we'll be, we can have all of those things, right? Then, what if you change something in the navbar? So, instead of with Django, we can use the extends and includes. Okay? So, like for example, we can have anything like we can have the what we say how okay so we can have many pages like contact page tutorials page home page uh, register page login page and we can have the about page we can have any pages but okay so but then what if we change something in the navbar like we want to change that later on and something you need to do all of those things so in this case we can use the extends and includes Okay, let's start with an extends example. So, first of all, I'm going to open with this VS Code. So, for this one, I'm going to. So, the way it works is we create a main type of page, then pages that will be maybe modified, some portion of that main page, like the body. Okay, and then we will extend that main type of page, something like that we are going to do. So, what I am going to do is, I am going to make, let's close this one also. I am going to, going to open my file and then I am going to open the code and my side, where is this in the main only, home dot, my, oh, sorry, sorry, we have done in the templates, in the main, I am going to copy this one, copy and then I am going to paste that one. Okay, and then I'm going to change it, and then I'm going to give it the a d e r header dot html. Okay, it's not doing anything. It's okay. Okay, uh, no problem. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to close this one, and from here, header dot. Okay, I think I should rename it. At the end of it, I should remove this head. And then, where is this one? Code, then my side, my, sorry. Main, and then templates in the main. And we have header and HTML, we have these, both of these things. So now, in header file, fold, in header file, we have all of these things. But for our home page, the unique thing that, the unique thing that we get is, what we say, our, tutorials discards right so now what i'm going to do is i am going to remove this one i am going to cut control c and then i'm going to delete this one and then i'm going to give here the various this one i'm going to remove this one and then we have this head ending here which is the head starting let's remove this one also and then save it so now I am going to give something like I am going to give let's do the control Z and again remove this one. Okay, so we have this body and then I am going to create another body here the main tag and the tag and that is the O D Y this one. Okay, and in this case I am going to use here and then in this one I am going to give here like the percentage symbols and then I'm going to give here below CK block block content. Here, okay, block content, and then I'm going to give here not this one. Here should give something like in block, and then in this one I'm doing something wrong. Okay, so now I have to give here end block. Okay, and then we don't have anything. Let's make him some space. And then in the various is this our HTML file? Home okay, so is this so this is our header.html. So now in the home page I am going to save all of these things, but I want to control A and then I want to paste that one. This one class this all of these things okay and then i'm going to give you something like this one this okay and then i have to give you the percentage symbol and here i should give here is x x t m d s 
extends and then I have to give the file folder name and the file name and then is main slash the ADR header dot HTML HTML okay so main slash header dot HTML we have given and then I should give here like I should copy these two things Instead of this one, let's paste this one. Log, log content I have given here, and end of it, I am going to paste the end content. See this one. And now, what I am going to do is extend. We have this one. And then I am going to make this tab. Okay. So now we have this uh, and for we have all of these things and then we have this block content. So now what we should do is we should reload this page. I think it's, it's still running. Let's close this one and reload it again. Okay. So now I'm going to open Python manager py run server and then it's going to get that. Let's close this one, close this one, and then 127. Mm, it's showing me the syntax and uh, the block content. Block content. Okay. And I'm getting that here somewhere. Okay, so now let's do that again. Python manager py run server. And then I should be getting this one. C O N. Okay, I have done the mistake here also. Okay, and then in the end, I am going to do that. Manage pi run server. <coughs> so now we are not getting any errors. One twenty seven. And now we are not getting any error. So we have done with these things. So now let's, uh, if you open our website, we have, so now what I want to do is I want to change the navbar, navbar color. So I didn't want to be something like this. And one more thing. So if you see here, we are getting the navbar something like this, but we are getting the navbar here. So let's go ahead and again, I'm going to copy this one and then why we are getting something like that so now i want to close this one so in this page only we have navbar so now let's paste this one okay so we have this new wrapper brand logo we have okay right we are seeing so let's remove this one and then let's give here something like let's remove this right and then I am going to run this program again python manager.py run server and now I am going to close this one and let's open this 127 ok so we are getting the tutorials login somewhere here then so now I am going to remove this left hide and then right and now i'm going to reload okay so now I, so i want something like this so we are getting the tutorials this home dot register we are getting the login so so we have divided these files into home dot html and then we have given header dot html where we have given something like this so now what i want to do is i want to change the color of our what we say this nav, nav bar so i don't want to be something like this so for that i'm going to open this materialize website and then let's getting started let's go in the about page let's write something like this so now we have this one so now let's click on this getting started so so for that i'm going to download this uh, i'm going to download the source code for the test like which have we it will be having what this is some colors and a lot of th those stuff so i'm going to click on the source and then uh, it's not getting me where is this 
okay downloads let's download that here only so we'll be extracting that later on so till the time let's open the another tab and then i'm going to type here something like k o l a l a gorilla and i'm getting the what we say i'm not getting the lingua gorilla so let's type here so k o l a l a app okay so collapse what is this so now i'm going to open this website and then open.com collapse.com and then i'm going to download this one which is basically compiler for the what we say for the sas okay so now i am going to download this one also and it's opening me any let's download that in the downloads only so i am going to pause this video pause this video for some time because it's going to take some time for downloading so as you can see on the screen so the kolala has downloaded so now i am going to close this one okay and then i am going to open my file explorer here and then i am going to open the downloads so in this downloads i have this materialize css let's extract this i am going to extract this here i am going to extract all and then i am going to put that in the d downloads materialize src okay so now extract okay and then i am going to set up this one also kolala setup and i am getting do you want to allow this app i think you can you just get this one. so i am getting welcome to kolala setup i am getting click next to continue so i am going to click on the next and then i have the c program files and then let's open this one first application d and in this one let's go back and this one here so i am going to in this place i am going to give you the d okay so now i am going to click here on the next and then i am going to not click anything so select the start menu folder in which you would like to create this program shortcut you can also enter a name to create a new folder so i am going to install directly only so install so it's taking some time it's going to download it's showing 31 exactly Okay, it's taking some time. So now let's open this materialize RC that we have done. So now I am going to open this materialize this one, and in this one I am going to open the SAS folder, and in this SAS folder we have this components, and then now we have to search for color, color variable something like that. So let's see where is the color. It will be color classes color color variables. So we have this color variables. So in this color variables. Okay, so it has been opened, and then we are getting all of these colors. So now I can change the color here also, but so we have all of these colors like it's basically very large file. So we have this one. Okay, so now I am going to not going to. Um, we have this base. We have this uh, F D D E V. So what I want to do is in my website here, I want to keep this uh, some type of blue color, and then I want to keep the home page something like that. Okay, so I want to change that. So for that I have a. I want to keep that in the some blue. So for that I have a block of code, and then I am going to paste that one with this. I am going to search that one. So I have the same file, but before this one I have modified that file, and then before that one I have I got this file, and then I have modified the colors that I want to have chosen. Otherwise, if I open that now, then it's going to make our time waste. Okay, and then where is this one? Okay, and I'm going to copy that whole file. So, okay. So now I'm going to paste that one here. So we don't have to do anything. We have all of these colors. So I have given here some with blue, and then I have given this, these all of these colors, something like this blue. Okay. So now I'm going to what I'm going to do is let's open this one. So we have this color I finished. Let's open this one. Uh, it's taking so and it's showing drag and drop to 
folder to add a project. So now I'm going to open my files and then I'm going to go here and downloads and in this one let's open this one here I'm going to mini make this some small why it's not getting with the SRC you can copy here I can add so I'm not getting anything let's do one thing I'm going to open this one and then we have this options add folder log and then settings let's open the add folder so now i am going to open this this pc or then i'm going to open this downloads so now i'm going to click on this materialize and then click ok so as you can see here we have done with these things like we have uh, sas scass -C -S -S. so it's go basically going to know that which one is javascript file and then which one is is this file and then it's not showing me materialized CSS. So now I'm going to minimize this one. And okay, so now we have done with these things. I think I'm going to run. Just I'm going to run this one. So I didn't got anything. Yeah. So now what I have to do is here in the header file with this. So we for this one we have this nav bar. Uh, and then in the nav bar i have to give you something like i have to give a link for that which will which will be choosing the colors and then it i have to give here link like we had this one what we say compile minifies javascript i have to give the css uh, link or javascript something some some link something like that so let's do that one so now i am going to open this one okay so here where is this gorilla i think i have closed that one okay oh, well. I'm getting that in the here. You see. Let's open this recently added. It's showing me. So now I'm going to open that Corolla. It's taking some time to open. Let's let's search that and then this one K O L A. Open. Okay, okay, so now I it's taking some time for opening that one. So we have this like what we say we have these links as I said to you. So in this case I have to I'm going to remove I have to remove this one and I think it's still not opened. I'm not ad administrator and then I'm going to click yes okay so it's taking some time let's leave that one so first of all what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this one okay so anyhow we have to create the file something like that Maybe it's not opening still let's open the all app maybe see Open this one. Let's go to start it, and then I'm going to open this one again. Let's open this one, and I'm going to click this on this one. Lots of time. So it's taking some time. Still reload this one again. So we are getting this page something like this, and then I think I'm going to open this one, close this one, and then I'm going to run this Python manager py run server. Okay, so still we are getting this same file because so what I have to do is I have to click I have to open the what we say Corolla application and then in that one I have to click and then I have to compile that so it's not opening still I have to compile that one so here we are not opening that so here I can't do I am not able to open that the Corolla that I have as I have installed now so anyhow guys that's all for this video so in the next video i am going to change the color of our nav bar to some blue color or whatever it is okay so anyhow guys that's all for this video if you have any questions comments give it in the comments below and please subscribe to this channel thank you for watching this video and thank you bye